Well, hey guys, this is Will Moore again, your host with Somewhere in America. And um, as usual, I am getting ready to venture out again. That's my camera, all my gear. It's springtime, but you know what? It's 27 degrees and you wouldn't know it. Because it's springtime, hey, I'm not gonna do necessarily any, well, I am gonna do some kind of sort of street photography, but I'm gonna do some also macro shooting with the A6000, so stay tuned. So America, I am here at a place called Longwood Gardens, and as I told you all before, it is springtime, so um, the flowers are in bloom. Longwood Gardens is a beautiful place in Kenneth Square, Pennsylvania. And I thought this would be a great time to maybe do maybe a little bit of street photography, maybe. Um, you know, catch some editorial pictures and also do some things with um, some macro shooting. So I'm probably going to just take about maybe 10 or 15 minutes while I'm here and do a kind of a 10, 15 minute challenge and try to get as many images as I can and then um, let you take a look at them at the end. So uh, let's go ahead and go in to Longwood Gardens. I've been living here such a long time. So here at Longwood Gardens, they make sure that you have a permit. So if you're ever coming here to photo shoot or to video or anything, you definitely need to bring a, um, go ahead and get some type of uh, uh, permit before you uh, actually uh, start to uh, go out here and do any photography. Um, permit is free. It's nothing. It doesn't cost anything. You just get it and you hang it on your your uh, tripod and then you're good to go. So, you guys can't really see what I'm seeing, so I'm going to go ahead and put you on split screen so that you can see how beautiful this place really is. Okay. Well, as you all can see, this place is like really, really gorgeous and like there is like so much to actually photograph or shoot here from very exotic plants. Uh, the lady told me at guest services that everything is not in bloom yet. However, there is some things over in the um, little conservatory that is ready to go. I've been there before a long time ago. It's very, very beautiful. So hopefully we can get to maybe some um, macro shooting as well as a little kind of street photography. Now one of the things you need to understand about street photography, I know everybody always thinks when they think of street photography, they always think of going into some big city looking for some real exciting, uh, crazy, outlandish scene to go ahead and make this big money with. It's not always about that sometimes. Sometimes it's just about doing some editorial work or maybe a magazine. So as I'm steady heading here towards the conservatory, how you doing, sir? Towards the conservatory, see, now that would have made a great picture right there. See, that's a good street photography shot. <laughs> um, heading toward the conservatory. Wow, take a look at that tree. Look at the, look at the stump and the branches. That is like so cool, wow. As I'm heading towards this, I'm gonna go ahead and go in there and I'm gonna just look around for a second to see if I can find some interesting shots. Go ahead and start taking them, and then you guys will be able to see what I have shot at the end of the podcast. All right, so I'm headed around the corner here. So I'll talk with you all when I get into the conservatory. So hey guys, I'm here, and I'm going to go ahead and start taking all my shots. And since this place is so, con you know, it's not really congested, a lot of people, a lot of the photographers are out this morning. So as you can see, I mean, it's some beautiful things and some beautiful shots in which to get. So we're going to do a little bit of street shooting, maybe. <laughs> I really want to get to some of these structures and landscapes. So I'm just looking at some of these real, this real cool things. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, oh, wow, look at that. See, that's a, right, that's a great shot right there. Catch it when you can. <laughs> oh, look at the little kid over there shooting.
Wow, good shot right there. Oh, photographer over here. That's all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoy my visit here at Longwood Gardens. It's a great place. You need to come and visit here in Kennett Square. Also, listen, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, hey, you know what you always do. Either unsubscribe or you can give me a thumbs down. But I hope you enjoyed some of the editorial street photography and also the macro shooting. Hey, guys, one of the things I want to show you about macro shooting that will be that's pretty interesting so they give you an idea of what I use. Now, you can get a macro lens to do all the macro shooting you saw in this video, or you can order with these things that I call. I'm going to put it on split screen so you can see what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about right here. These are called, like, um, like these little things right here. They're, if you can kind of see them, um, they're called, let me get into focus here. They're called canisters, yeah. <laughs> and what you do is that you attach them to your lens, and what it does is that it, it gives your... Uh, it gives your lens uh, the, net, the, the necessary depth to be able to get up close. Now, these are a little tricky when you first start trying to use them because, I mean, it'll, it'll throw you off for a minute. You'll think that you can be far away. But know what it is, that it allows you to get really, really close up, whether you're on um, trying to take uh, macro shots of uh, flowers or if you're trying to take shots of, like, um, you know, bees or, or insects or anything like that. I'm going to give you just a real quick overview of it so you can see what I'm talking about. All right. So I'll go ahead and turn mine on. I got a, I got one of them on right now. The one that I have on right now is a 10 millimeter. And I have it on my 55 to 210 lens, uh, Sony lens. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to focus in on, uh, if you guys can actually probably see there. I'm going to, um, I don't want to get it in too much. There we go. There you go, right about there. I'm going to focus in and uh, make sure I got enough light <laughs> so you can see. All right, there. See, like this particular uh, daisy right there, it allows me, like this particular daisy right there, that one, it allows me to get in 
Um, pretty, pretty close. It's kind of probably kind of hard for you guys to see because there's a glare here. Let me find a place where there's no glare. All right, there we go. And okay, there we go. It, it allows you to get in a little closer and go ahead and take a particular shot. So as you can see, these canisters are really, really good. A lot of times I'll put the 10 millimeter on and I'll also put this little um, 16 millimeter on right here. And that right there um, allows me to get even closer, you know. But it's always good that if, you go, if you're going to put both of these on, it's good to have a tripod. And it's good to be in like an arbitratum like this or a, a, a planetarium, something like this right here. Because there's no wind blowing or anything like that. So you can go ahead and use a tripod. As I told you before in the preceding, pre uh, previous part of the cast, that you must have a permit to have a tripod in places like this, okay? But that's a good thing because it allows you to go ahead and use your tripod. You, don't have, you can study it. You can focus in on it. And um, you don't have to touch the camera. You can go ahead and take your shot and you get some pretty good... Um, images so hey guys like i said before that is all that i have for today and um, i hope you guys enjoyed this podcast on macro shooting and also a little editorial street shooting so i will talk with you guys later god bless there's a fellow photographer talk with you guys later god bless and as you always say before on my podcast at the end if you can't say anything nice stick a shoe in your mouth and keep it moving god bless out there in YouTube land. This is Will Moore, your host with Somewhere in America. And the reason why I'm making this real short video, um, it's kind of video, this kind of a video that is geared towards all of my YouTube subscribers. Now, one of the things about um, my YouTube subscribers is that, first of all, I want to say, number one, I love you guys. I'm so glad you subscribed to me. Even those that have subscribed and left, that's all right. Hey, the content wasn't for you. But I want to appeal to you as my YouTube subscribers because guess what? You guys are important because you're the ones that I'm actually making the videos for. And I want to make sure that the information that I am sharing is information that you can use and that it is something that will take you further in your photography business or your photography shooting. Um, number one, let me know what you like and what you don't like. Number two, if you have an idea of something you really want to see that's really appealing to you, let me know. Please comment. Put it right down there. Post it. Okay. Number three. If I say something that's maybe that's technically incorrect or something, let me know. So my next video, I can correct it or correct it right there on the spot. Okay. Number what did say four. Number five. <laughs> lost count <laughs> let me know when i lose count <laughs> but other than that all my youtube subscribers hey i love y'all because i thank god that you guys are always watching and that you're subscribing but also too make sure that you like if you like it or unlike it that's very important i don't care whether it's negative or positive because i really want to appeal to you guys so let me know what you want to hear about if you want to hear more about the sony a6000 uh, if you want to hear more about, you know, any upcoming gear I might purchase, I know the Sony A6300 is out now. Um, a lot of different cameras are out. Um, if you want to know more about even just shooting with your iPhone or your cell phone or your smartphone, whatever it may be, just let me know because this is for you, not for me, it's for you. And I enjoy uh, coming to you guys every week every Tuesday. Tune in because I'm going to be there. If I'm not there, then guess what? You know that is either the end of the world has come or the apocalypse or either I'm on assignment somewhere. But even if I'm on assignment, I'm going to always try to get something to you guys real quick. So just letting you guys know this. And like I said, it's a quick, two, quick, quick thing just to put it out there. So I've asked all the questions and I've asked you guys because I want to keep you in my subs. I want to keep you in the Somewhere in America family. So uh, let me know what I can do. Even giveaways. Let me know what you want. I got a lot of stuff that I might want to give away. <laughs> so anyway, talk with y'all later. Love y'all. 
God bless you. Peace and um, hair grease, as we used to say back in the 70s. <laughs> but God bless. And I'll always, always say, if you can't say anything nice, stick a shoe in your mouth and keep it moving. God bless y'all. Bye-bye.